Uh, I'm really proud of our team. Uh, you know, we obviously we lost to UCLA back in January and they, uh, you know, they totally uh, dominated on the boards. Um, I haven't seen a stat sheet, but uh, I thought we rebounded a lot better. Um, so we out rebounded them. Um, we, we, we really came out aggressive. Um, you know, they have, uh, I think Corey's done a fabulous job and they have a, a really, really good team. And Onion Wary is uh, fantastic. Um, she played really well. But, uh, you know, it started with uh, Anna Wilson uh, defending uh, against uh, Charisma Osborne, who is another really uh, outstanding player. Uh, Kiana played well. Uh, she really got us going uh, with her, uh, you know, her shooting and her floor leadership. Uh, Lexi really kept, uh, really kept the uh, game going. You know, when we kind of went through a lull in the third quarter, Lexi really stepped up. Uh, I thought Haley uh, had a much better game than the night before. Uh, she she really helped us. And we got a lot of different, um, you know, kind of just different contributions. A basket here from Anna, uh, you know, basket here from Cam. Um, you know, uh, again, Haley going four for six was great. Uh, Fran getting rebounds and going two for two. Um, Lacey hitting a big three. So, um, you know, I'm really, really excited about what our team accomplished. First question will be from Cheryl Coward. Cheryl, go ahead. Uh, of course, it was a, a total team effort, but you have three players on the uh, all tournament team and we're able to get 12 players minutes. How does that make you feel at this point in the season to have your uh, three, three players um, on this team in the toughest conference? Well, you know, uh, I think it's, you know, coming from the winning team and, and congratulations to our team. It were, it's a total team effort. Everyone is excited for everyone's success, which is, I think, really special. Um, you know, they're just a, a really, uh, a really close group. And today, uh, I think we showed some toughness that, um, you know, we needed to against a, a very, very, very good uh, UCLA team, a, a tournament team uh, with All-American. Uh, Michaela is an All-American. I think Charisma is a future All-American and uh, some, you know, a great coaching by Corey. And to follow up briefly, Cameron is on that team. What have you seen from her since that loss at UCLA mm -hmm. to now to, you know, have her be on that team? You know, well, Cam had, um, I think she had, she had a, a very good tournament. She had a great game against Oregon State. Uh, she was, she was fabulous. Um, you know, as a young player, I think she's doing extremely well. And, you know, just uh, adjusting to a more physical play, uh, a bigger court, um, you know, coach yelling at her a lot. Um, but she, she does some great things for us. Our next question is for Michelle Smith McDonald. Go ahead, Michelle. Hi, Todd. Congratulations. Um, Thank you, both, Michelle. Both you and Kiana talked about toughness today and made reference to wanting to show some toughness. Do you feel like um, you guys have lacked that or, or is it just a time to turn the volume up on that? Well, I think that um, I, I think that we, we're probably more of a um, you know we're more of a finesse team. We like to move the ball and free motion. But when it you know sometimes you've got to you got to really get in a grind game. And we were we just wanted to be ready for that. Um, I, I think we have showed uh, toughness, but we can show more. And this game this game demanded it. Uh, it demanded that we rebound. It demanded that we play defense. And uh, our team stepped up. Um, and, you know, again, it was, uh, people were extremely competitive. Um, you know, I, I think, um, throughout the season, Lexi has, uh, she's been steady. She hasn't shot maybe as well as, um, you know, sometimes, uh, we want her to, or she has, she's capable of, but I love her competitiveness. And, uh, I, I really thought she was someone that was a big difference maker for us today, but she brings toughness every day. Her, and then my follow-up question is just, um, he said that, you know, you said to them after the game that this can't be our best game. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, uh, you know, we, we did have spurts of just great basketball, but then we kind of fell off the wagon a little bit. Um, and we, we need to be more consistent as a team. And we need people to really adjust to officiating better. Uh, you know, we can't be in foul trouble, foul trouble, foul trouble. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to nitpick, um, but, uh, you know, you win a championship game. Uh, and you're looking forward to the NCAA. Um, I think that we have to, you know, we have to look at things that we can do better so that we can be cutting down more nets. 
Next question will be from Michael Roberson. Michael, go ahead. All right, Coach. Uh, combined 50 points between Lexi and uh, Keith and a double-double from Haley in her first conference tournament because of what happened last year. Uh, you guys shot 48% from the field and from three. The only drawback would be 17 turnovers. So how would you surmise all that? Well, one of the turnovers was the shot clock violation way at the end. So, but 16 is not good either. Um, you know, I, I think, again, we have things that we can do better. But, um, you know, sometimes uh, whether you're a coach or a player, you kind of have to enjoy the moment. And, you know, our team is, is very excited. Uh, I'm going to look at the good things. We're going to talk about the goals that we accomplished. And, you know, turning around probably about Wednesday or Thursday, we'll say, hey, we can take care of the ball better. But what a, what a great team effort. And, you know, uh, turning things around last time, last time they had 21 O boards on us. And this time it's seven. Um, our team listened. They worked really hard. And again, I'm, I'm just really proud of how hard they played and how well they played. Next, we'll go to Steve Croner. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, Tar, congrats. Um, you know, I'm not going to have you compare one team to another of your many great teams, but I'll ask you this. Have you felt more confident going into the NCAA tournament than you would right now um, in any previous season? You know, um, Steve, thanks for the question. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm always a worrier. I mean, I'm, it doesn't matter what team I could probably have, uh, you know, players like, uh, I mean, going even into the Olympics with the great players we had, I'm, I'm always looking for things that we can do better. Um, you know, and, you know, I just, um, I, I can't say that I'm ever like really confident, like maybe, maybe certain insecurities motivate me to work harder, to watch a lot of video. Like I watched, I watched our UCLA game five times, uh, between our last game and today. Um, I, I always feel like, you know, there's things that we could be doing better, but, um, I think if we continue to stay healthy, uh, you're always day to day, you've got a test negative. Uh, right. if we continue to, um, stay healthy and our team keeps improving, um, we're capable of beating anyone and we're capable of losing anyone. So we just have to, um, you know, continue to improve. We, we have a young group, but I know we can get a lot better in the next, um, next month. Next, we'll go to Doug Feinberg. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, Coach. Congrats on the title. Thank you, Doug. Uh, how's your ZD? It's good. I made it the other night. Your, your recipe. Um, I have a two-part question. Is this year's winning the regular season in this conference tournament title more special in a sense because of everything else going on in this world, the things you guys had to go through to be on the road for nine weeks, wherever it was, that this wasn't, hey, we're just home for a normal amount of time. Mm -hmm. So. Not that it's the best one you've won, but yeah. just that way. Um, absolutely right, Doug. I mean, what our you know our team traveling, being on the uh, being on the road for two months, uh, you know, started in Vegas. I said Vegas is good to me. I need to go down to that slot machine, um, you know, before we leave. But um, you know, uh, I'm again, I'm so proud of our team. Not just not just for winning, but winning because they were so together as a team. They wanted it so much for each other. And, uh, you know, that's not always the case. You can have really good teams and players who are out here, but they're a very tight circle, a very tight group. And I, I wanted it for them. I really, you know, I, I kind of said, look, at, I already got 13 nets. Go, you, I want it for you guys. And the follow-up is, I know I asked you this a couple of weeks ago, but what you guys went through being on the road, living out of a suitcase, potentially, could that help you in Texas? Because no one else I don't think has done that, been on the road for three weeks. Right. That, do make the I mean, four. being down there for two weeks is like that's nothing for us so you know obviously um i mean i think our team is really excited and uh, kiana especially being from there but um we just uh we want to keep playing hard so we can keep playing and um you know as hard as the year it has been we don't want the year to end thanks coach good luck on the slots later Th thank you doug <laughs> yeah our last questions for coach will come from michelle vopel michelle go ahead yeah, um, Coach Vanderveer, I wondered, you, you asked, you answered this a little earlier in terms of, the, you know, the confidence level going in the tournament, but I guess specifically, is this as confident as you felt in a defensive squad, perhaps going into an NCAA tournament, considering that seems to me something that's been very consistent throughout mm -hmm. this season for you guys? 
you know, um, I, I think, um, you know, I, I do feel like we can guard people. Um, I also have, I, I feel like we can shoot the ball really well. Um, and we have a lot of different weapons. Uh, what I like is the fact that kind of no matter who's out there, they're playing hard for each other and with each other. There's, there's not like a, there's not like a loose cannon that's all about herself trying to get her points or, you know, someone that you can't depend on. Um, this is a, this is a dependable team. And, you know, I, I think that does help, uh, that does help your, your, uh, confidence and, um, just going into a situation. I, I, again, I think we have to, we'll have to play hard in every single game, but, um, you know, the confidence I have is in our team that they'll play hard and they'll play for each other. You guys have um, a team in some ways it's hard at times to single out anybody, which isn't always the case with all teams, just because you have so many weapons and, and, and so many people who've contributed, but do you feel like Kiana has just taken her game maybe to another level um, in the last few weeks? Actually? You know, Kiana does what our team needs her to do, and we needed her to step up like this today, and she did. Um, you know, I think the bigger the game, the better Kiana plays. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, All right Coach, I think thanks that's for the it. Time. Thank you very much. All right, we'll see everyone down in uh, Texas with our masks. First question is from Michelle Vopel. Michelle, go ahead. Yeah, Kiana, congratulations on um, not just this, this tournament championship, but this season. I wonder if you could um, just put in perspective um, really this whole journey so far that you've had. And, and it just seems like this team in the last few weeks has been getting stronger as the, the games have passed. Um, uh, it's been uh, one heck of a year to say the least. Um, just super proud of my teammates. Uh, felt like we were on a row for forever those nine, 10 weeks, but, <clears throat> but we stuck together. Um, and we, we really leaned on each other. Um, it was hard at times, you know, living out of a suitcase, living out of the hotel rooms, but we wanted to play so bad. Uh, we just had to make certain sacrifices. So to, to win the regular season and then to come here and back it up with the uh, tournament championship, um, just says a lot about how tough we are. And uh, I'm super excited how, how we bounced back from that UCLA loss. Um, you know, I, I, we were watching film uh, yesterday and a after that um, Oregon State game, I was just getting frustrated and little things that we didn't do. And I'm, I'm glad we fixed them tonight. And I guess just if I could follow up real quick with just how well you individually have been playing. I mean, your confidence, I don't know that I've ever seen it be higher than it has been. Do, do you feel that way? Oh, absolutely. Um, it, uh, March is, is, it's time for winning. Um, and big players make big plays. So I, my teammates have confidence in me. My coaches have confidence in me. So I have to have confidence in myself. Um, uh, they, they were finding me uh, in my spots and I, and I was just knocking them down. Um, and not just me, but, you know, er everyone, everyone has to have confidence. Uh, you know, we can't really rely on, on one person. I think that's how, uh, that's really where our, our strength is, is we don't have one person that you can really key on. Um, we have that warrior strength in numbers mentality. Thank you. <clears throat> Our next question will come from Willie Ramirez. Willie, go ahead. Anna, so, and I'm sure there's going to be more questions about your performance tonight, but for me, what stood out is afterwards, red and white confetti just littering the basketball court, the music's blaring, you were endlessly dancing. You guys are posing for a celebratory picture. Erica Banks' bus it comes on and everybody starts performing the TikTok dance. And it almost seemed fitting. Stan is back. Can you just talk about that moment? Because for me, you know, just watching it from up here um, is just, you could just feel the vibration. Yeah, we're, we're just so happy for one another. Um, you know, it, it's been a tough year. It's been a long year. But uh, just to, you know, win this tournament and, and uh, you know, win the regular season, you know, it's it's um, it's rewarding, and just really happy for our, for our, for my teammates, for our coaches, how hard they've worked, how hard we worked uh, on and off the court. Um, so you know, when the confetti came down, you know, it, it was time to celebrate and dance. But you know, we're we're like Tara told us just right now in the locker room. You know, this can't be our best game. Um, we you know we we have um, business to take care of in San Antonio, my hometown, and. Um, we're going to enjoy this, but, you know, we're, we're getting ready for, for San Antonio. We want to be the last team uh, standing. Next, we'll go to Michael Roberson. Michael, go ahead. 
All right, Key, a uh, very impressive game by you. 26 points, uh, three assists, two rebounds, but six for seven from three. Coincidentally, your pro neighbor, Steph Curry, won a three-point contest today, and he's actually still doing an all-star game right now. So how did you feel uh, that flow going through that you could shoot that well from three today? Um, just confidence. Um, I, I love I love coming to the Vegas tournament, uh, Pac-12 tournament. Um, you know, Tara reminded me how well I shot, you know, my freshman year when it was up in Seattle. Uh, you know, she just reminded me of those other things and that's given me confidence. And like I said earlier, my teammates have confidence in me. I know my coaches have confidence in me. So I just have to have confidence in myself and, and let it fly. And did this feel like a comfortable setting since you guys were essentially playing <laughs> Las Vegas as a home uh, site? Yeah, it, it was a full circle moment for sure. Um, Tara, Tara uh, joked about going to play the slot machine before we get on the plane. Um, yeah, we were in Vegas, uh, I think that was early December. And, you know, just to come full circle and win it all here, um, you know, it, it's, it's a blessing. And I'm just so happy for my teammates and my, my coaches, our coaches. Next question will be for Michelle Smith McDonald. Go ahead, Michelle. <clears throat> First of all, Key, if Tara plays a slot machine, I'm going to need a photo of that. <laughs> if she sits down and presses a button, I'm going to need a picture of that. <laughs> um, Key, I heard you talk about in the postgame show, and then again, you made a reference about how tough you all are. Did you feel like you need, you know, not only to prove it to other people, but at any point this season, did you guys all have to prove to yourself how tough you were? And do you feel like you've done that? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think that was the main goal um, for this game was, was proving it to ourselves that, that we can box out, that we can be the more physical, aggressive team. Um, and like I said in the press, in the uh, post game, uh, you know, there's this saying that, you know, we're a little nice, as Tara says, we're nice girls from Stanford. But um, I think we showed that, you know, we, we can get down, get dirty and, and do those little dirty plays and come up with those 50-50 balls and, and box out. Uh, UCLA is a great offensive rebounding team. So we knew if we took care of the rebounds, you know, we'd have a chance. And then, Q, the other question I'll ask is when the first three goes in, does it make it? Do you do you know it's going to be a good night? Um, I, I, could, I could say I agree. You know, you, anytime, you know, a shooter gets their first shot to go down, whether, you know, a layup, a, a pull up or a three, um, that, that may, having that first shot be a, a good shot, uh, I think it sets, sets you up for the rest of the game. So, yeah, I, I agree. Next question will be from Steve Croner. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah, Keanu, uh, congrats. When we spoke uh, a few days ago, you, know, you were talking about how, though you guys had an 11 game winning streak, you still had room to improve. Mm -hmm. You look pretty darn good for three nights out of or three games and four nights in, in Vegas. Do you still have room to improve? Oh, absolutely. That that third quarter uh, wasn't our best quarter. Um, I don't I don't really know the, the I feel like it felt like we got outscored. Um, but you know that starts with me. You know I, I got a little frustrated, went a little internal, but but my teammates wheeled me back in and to, to finish the fourth quarter. So you know just putting together a, a, a complete game for forty minutes. Um, we played really well in the in the first half, and Tar challenged us to to play even better in the second half. Um, so there's always room for improvement. You know, we're gonna, you know, watch watch tape and watch some teaching clips, um, you know, to just get ready for the NCAA tournament. Next question will be from Sam Gordon. Sam, go ahead. Hey, Keanu, congratulations, first and foremost, um, on winning the tournament. Um, just looking at your team, feels like you have guards, you have wings, you have bigs. Feels like a very complete team. Why do you feel like this particular group is going to be a tough out uh, in, in in the big tournament, or why do you feel like you guys can go all the way? Uh, you, you said it. You know, we we have guards, we have bigs, we have wings. Um, you know, we have an inside presence with, with Cam, Fran, and Ashton. Um, and then you know we have Haley slashing in there. Uh, Lexi, her you know her being aggressive, knocking down shots. Lacey, uh, we're just we're just so versatile and so deep. Um, I think uh, Tara said this a few days ago, but we've had about seven or eight different people lead us in scoring. So I think um, just have, being, being a deep team, especially going late into March and, and um, you know, trying to make it to the Final Four in April, uh, we're really going to rely on everyone. You know, Teams can't you know, just scout just me or just scout just one person on our team um, because you know, we're, we're threats from all five positions. And that's uh, really important to, for a national championship caliber team. 
Next, we'll go to Cheryl Coward. Cheryl, go ahead. Um, your team's last loss was uh, against UCLA back in late January in Santa Cruz. Was there a revenge factor in this game? And uh, what were your most important takeaways from that loss uh, to UCLA to help you dominate today? Uh, absolutely. Um, I, I said this earlier, you know, we were watching, you know, watching film and, and watching plays that, you know, they were just effort plays, you know, they're flying in there for rebounds and, you know, we're just watching them rebound over us, you know, not boxing them out. So uh, for sure it was a revenge game for us. And, you know, we had to prove to ourselves that we can do the little thing, you know, we can box out and we can rebound, we can execute. Uh, so I think we, you know, we, we took care of business uh, from, from the tip. And as a leader on this team, um, and with uh, three of you uh, from Stanford on the Pac-12 All-Tournament team, especially with uh, Cameron Brink as a freshman, what have you seen, how have you seen her develop since that game to now? Uh, Cam, Cam doesn't know how, how good she is. Um, she's, I think she's really going to be an X factor for us uh, in this NCAA tournament. You know, her ability to, to rebound and, and get putbacks, uh, you know, she can stretch it out, shoot the three. Um, she, she's going to be a, a All-American for sure uh, during her time here at Stanford. So just so happy with how poised she plays. Um, you know, she fouled out today, but uh, she, she still contributes in, in a lot of ways and really uh, rebounding and, and getting us going in transition. Thanks and congrats. Thank you. Next question is from Doug Feinberg. Doug, go ahead. Okay, you mentioned the, the road you guys have been on this year. Is that help you in the NCAA tournament since you've been living out a suitcase for a month and you'll be basically living out a suitcase for three weeks if you make it to the Final Four and beyond? Is that something that I think will help you guys mentally that you've been through this already in a sense? Absolutely. You know, we, we've talked about that. You know, we, we've lived out of a suitcase for nine weeks. I think we can do it for four more weeks. So I think we have, uh, I think we have uh, an advantage uh, in that in that area, and you know it's it's my hometown too. So uh, I, I guess we're going to be the home team. <laughs> Thanks. All right, Kiana, I appreciate the time. Uh, I think it's time for for coach. So congrats right. on the win and thank you.